welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. One of the things I want to share with you guys, especially the Spark owners out there, is there's a new firmware update, uh, particularly for the battery. So uh, I wanted to kind of go over this real quick just to kind of give everybody a heads up of this. So basically, firmware update for DJI Spark. A new firmware update will be made available uh, for the DJI Spark this week when prompted the DJI Go 4 app users with internet connectivity, we'll be able to download the firm, uh, new firmware uh, to update their aircraft's battery firmware. Spark users should complete this firmware update before September 1st. This is a mandatory firmware update, so there must be some sort of problem. Uh, firmware update will maximize flight safety so that users can have enjoyable flying experiences. So I click I know and it says that new firmware is ready and so I'm doing screen recording so I'll have this overlaid on the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm going to enter it so I'm gonna go ahead and allow it to download now so it's going to download the firmware and so there's a number of updates and again I will have this on the screen I'm not gonna read through each one of them um, so it's almost downloaded so I'm gonna start updating now um, Connect the aircraft remote controller if you have one. Uh, yep, I'm good on the battery, so I'm going to start. And hit start. Connect the aircraft remote controller if you have one. And confirm the aircraft battery is over that. So yes, I do have that. So this battery is, you can see the lights on the battery, it is full. And it keeps wanting to give me a tip so I'm not sure if it started or what okay so now um, we're starting the firmware update so you can see the progress on it so what we'll have to do is we'll have to go through each and every battery now I have four batteries now while it's doing this this update what I want to point out is a couple of things that I've done for my battery management is number one I've, I've labeled all my batteries so I have obviously one is in the unit right now so I have two three four I just use a label maker and put them on here so I can track when I got the batteries and sort of their history a little bit the DJI Go app will also keep track of the uh, uh, batteries to either serial number but I like to have this so I know which batteries have been flown which batteries are in the charger which batteries are being used so I have these set up like that so I'd highly recommend that um, you know, the other thing is I've got the um, Fly More package, so I got the three chargers, so I can, you know, charge all th three at a time and swap out the fourth one. I'm going to probably do a couple more batteries, but um, we'll see how that goes. So far, I find usually that my flight experience, I get around an hour with four batteries, roughly maybe a little bit short by the time I switch them out and everything. So that's typically enough field flying time, I, at least I've experienced. Um, so I've been pretty happy with that. Okay, so with the Android, I could only make it to 5%, and it kept failing, and I kept resetting the um, controller and the copter and everything. So I'm switching over to my iPhone 5S, and I'm going to say uh, update now. And okay, on the iPhone, I'm getting a failed error code of 0x and then a bunch of zeros afterwards. And if I retry, I just seem to keep getting the same error. So one of the things I'm going to try doing is um, use the Wi-Fi, can switch over from the OTG to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so now I've switched over to Wi-Fi from the OTG cable on the iPhone 5S, and now it seems to be updating. So I'm now at 12% and it's steadily counting up. Now, I tried doing the same thing with the... Um, with the Samsung over here and it failed um, going with the Wi-Fi so but I have been able to get the uh, iOS device or the uh, iPhone 5s to work uh, to do the updating It's now at about 20 percent and so it does seem to be that it's counting through uh, and incrementing and going up it is doing it rather slowly so we'll see if this works now the interesting thing is I don't know if you've noticed it over here I'll move it over I don't know if you could see the light for some reason it see it it goes red then it goes back to green and then it goes to red a couple times I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to do or if that's part of the problem but it's now up to 30 percent so we'll kind of keep a 
and eye on it here for another minute or so to see what happens. So I've got number one battery now. I've got to go through this for four batteries, so I'm hoping that this whole thing actually goes a little bit smoother uh, on the next batteries. I'm going to stick with the uh, uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and hopefully just swap out the batteries and then allow it to update. So let's see what happens. Okay, I wanted to come back. You're kind of bouncing a little bit. Notice the light is red again. So that means it's disconnected. Now I'm at 42%. Now it's 43%. So it still seems to be 44. It still seems to be incrementing while the light is red. So I don't know if this is just indicating something or if connectivity is being lost with the copter. But you can see the, the lights on the copter are blinking. And so it looks like it's doing its up, update piece. It is now at almost 50%. Uh, again, this is taking quite a while to go through and load. So the fans now shut off of this at, at 49. The light's gone back to green. Now it's just beeped. It's at 52. So it obviously is doing something here. And hopefully it's a good thing because uh, it seems to be going faster now. So I'm at 58 already. It took a long time just to get to 50, but now it's already at 60. And the copter is beeping. So we'll see where this takes us. Now it's reached 97 on the phone. I don't know if you can see that. So it's reached 97. The light is green, but it's been 97 for several minutes now. The copter, uh, the lights on the copter are all appearing red, as you can see here. So uh, I'm not sure if it's now stuck again or something, but. Again, the green light would indicate that it's um, connected, uh, but the copter isn't doing anything, and this has now been probably four or five minutes stuck on 97. So let's see where it goes. Okay, now what I did is I rebooted the copter. I turned the power off and turned it on while this was still connected. And I don't know if you can see this, but it now says um, update complete. Please manually restart your aircraft. So I wonder if, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to restart the aircraft again. I wonder if there isn't something in the application that got to that 97% and needed the aircraft restarted because as soon as I start, as soon as I restarted the aircraft, um, it immediately completed its installation. So. Uh, it is reading update complete, so I've now restarted the copter and it says update complete, so I'm going to enter device and I've entered device, it says aircraft disconnected, I still have the red light, uh, it's doing its little uh, setup flash over here, so let's see what happens once it connects. So I haven't turned the controller on or off, nor have I disconnected the DJI GO 4 app from the controller. Okay, so I'm now connected. Aircraft status normal. Um, naturally, it's in Addy mode since it's in my basement. And uh, air move, uh, calibrate compass. Yeah, that's normal because it's... Uh, so it's wanting it's wanting me to calibrate the compass. So I don't know if this is an expected outcome of this firmware upgrade or not. Um, so I don't know. You might get the, you might want to double check this if you get a compass calibration error. So again, I'm not sure what the firmware has done. I want to run through another battery real quick and see what happens. Okay, one of the things that I think. Okay, now it's back after well. It's reconnected and restarted. All right, so the cal compass calibration error is back uh, with switching the battery. So I think it's something in, in the firmware which uh, had done it. So overall status cannot take off. Battery firmware update required. So, all right, let's go ahead and see how this... Um, I'm just going to restart the DJI GO 4 app. And so I'm going to hit this and let's see what it says on this time around. I want to see if this time around it's a little bit more streamlined than the last. And so compass air, aircraft status, overall status, cannot take off. Um, I'm going to ignore the no-fly database right now. Once again on battery 2, I'm now stuck at 97%. 
Uh, interestingly enough, if you look at the back of the battery, uh, their two center lights are are blocked on, and uh, it doesn't allow me to turn off the uh, copter in this case. So I press and then I do a long hold, and notice the copter does not power down. And it's been sitting at 97 now for several minutes, like the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the battery right out. And notice that the uh, the lights still stay lit on the battery. So I'm not sure that that's a good or bad thing. Uh, so I'm going to reinsert the battery. And the copter immediately powers back up upon insertion of the battery. Now one of the things you'll notice is this now counted up to 99. since reinsertion of the battery. But those two center lights are still lit and it's still hanging at 99%. And now notice instead of all red, so I've got the front blinking yellow now and it's just still holding at 99%. Now see it's dropped down back to 97. So I'm not quite sure what to make out of that. So I'm not having any better luck on the second battery. Okay, what I've done is I've actually reset the, uh, reset the controller because I still couldn't turn the copter off. So I reset the controller, reset the DJI GO 4 app. Now I'm up to 99%. Um, so update completed successfully. So I'm not sure why it's going through all these gyrations um, to update the, the battery. And I want to check something here. So no positioning Addy mode. I want to see if the uh, latest firmware... Um, it's not giving me the compass calibration error this time around now that it's gone through the second battery, which is uh, interesting. I'm going to probably, when I go out in the field, recalibrate the battery. Um, recalibrate the battery, sorry. Recalibrate the compass. I'm still trying to figure this out. So, um, I think long story short, there's a couple different things to... If you're having problems with this, um, and again, these are all at your own risk that I found is you notice that the battery is now back to its normal uh, status. So if it gets to 97% or if it gets to some percentage that's rather high, uh, I suggest resetting the copter and see if it moves forward. If that still doesn't work or the copter locks you out, reset the controller and the DJI GO 4 app. Uh, let the controller, you know, follow it in this order. Let the controller restart. Then... Uh, connect to it with the DJI GO 4 app. I tried it other way around, did not work. So the order was important. The other thing is, for some reason, the OTG isn't working with the firmware um, upgrades. I had to switch to Wi-Fi and connect to the Spark via Wi-Fi to do the firmware. I've done firmware upgrades in the past by OTG, so I'm not sure what the problem is here. Uh, so I've done two batteries now out of the four. Both have given me issues. And again, it sort of, you know, increments to 97% and then there's a problem. I couldn't get the Android version to work. Android version stopped at 5%. I have no idea why. I tried OTG. I tried wireless. And I got the same results. I had to switch to iOS to get it to work. So I don't know. Maybe it is the Android device. I haven't taken the time to try other Android devices. Uh, I just switched to the iOS. So if you're having problems, these are some of the options to, you know, maybe help you deal with those problems. Because, again, I've gone through two batteries. I've ran into the same problem on both batteries. So if you have questions... Hit me up in the comments below. I'd happy to try to answer them. Also, subscribe's coming up over there. Don't forget to subscribe and keep you up to date on all this stuff. And, uh, you know, lunch today was just a bologna sandwich. So I don't know what you guys are thinking. But uh, I think I'm going to have an egg roll with my dinner tonight. Cheers. See you in the next video.